if we know that you know if we if, if we know that the entire world looks at Jews through a magnifying glass and they judge us much more harshly than than they would uh, on, on, on a non-Jew because they have higher standards for us. Wouldn't it be more practical to have something other than a yarmulke so everybody would know that, oh, this Jew is doing something wrong? Like, everything we do is, is, is put on to a magnifying glass because we're wearing a yarmulke, and it creates... It creates opportunities for Chil Hashem left and right without us even noticing it. And um, maybe we can just wear a Mag and David. What's the difference between that and a yarmulke? I, I, well, like, Mag and I've, David, so you're a Jew also then. What's going to help you if you wear a Mag and David? It's also you're a Jew. So what, what's going to help a Mag and David? I'm saying like... You're going to hide it? No, not hide it. So then you know you're a Jew if you wear a Mag and why David. Why should it be out in the open? I understand for brachot, for... For davening, you have to wear a yarmulke, but what's the reason I said just the opposite, just the opposite, day? just the opposite. You should wear a yarmulke and make sure you, that you watch, you're careful. You, you show that... Obviously, we're supposed to be the best Jews ever well, so possible, we gotta, we but have that's to live not... Up to, that's right, and we have to live up to the yarmulke. And we, well, let's say we know that we're less than perfect. Listen, you don't have to be perfect, but you have to, you have to be up to the challenge. You have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. It won't be judged if it's not perfect. But you have to, the yarmulke is a, uh, a, 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 obligates us to act like good Jews, like good people. And it's good to have an obligation. And it's just the, on, on the contrary. It's a good idea to wear a yarmulke because you're being looked at, and therefore we have to live, live like God wants us to and work, live, live, live to perfection. Now take it off the yarmulke, and I'm, I'm okay, I have to do what I want. What, what kind of thing is that? You have to live like... Like God wants us to, we're, we're a holy nation. We have to live like the holy nation. We have to show people we're a holy nation. Take up the yarmulke. No, it's okay. We don't have to live. What do you mean? <laughs> you I'm not to, saying we're that. We're a yarmulke and you have to live up to it. Of course, can, of can, course. Can, we're can, supposed can, to can, strive can. to be the best Jews ever. But what? I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that when you take off yarmulke, you're you're able to do. You know, anything goes. You don't, I'm, have to, I'm you don't feel the that. pressure. You don't feel the pressure. You have to feel the pressure. But you know, is that can't. worth risking a chil Hashem? You can't, don't make a chil Hashem. What do you mean? Baby? So being Jewish, you make chil Hashem. We should, we should not show that we're Jewish. Been there, done that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't agree with you, Mikey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't agree with you. I just the opposite. We are Jews. We have to live, live like Jews. We have to live what like God wants us to. We look to. We have to. Be special and act special, and we have to be careful about stealing and careful about the way we talk and careful the way we walk and careful about everything because that's a Jew is God's children, and we have to live like God's children, and we don't have to run away from it by thinking up to Yamaka. <laughs>